Even if our ancestors consumed a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals every day, mouths would very likely still grow too small. What was true for our ancestors was also true for us because the problem had less to do with what we were eating than how we ate it. Chewing. It was the constant stress of chewing that was lacking from our diets, not specifically vitamins A, B, C, or D. 95% of the industrialized diet was soft. Our ancient ancestors chewed for hours a day, every day. And because they chewed so much, their mouths, their teeth, their throats, and their faces grew to be wide and strong and pronounced. This larger mouth with straighter teeth allowed them to breathe more easily. Food in industrialized societies was so processed that it hardly required any chewing at all. Here's some of the industrialized mush that I grew up eating. Yes, of course I had extractions. Yes, of course I needed braces and headgear and everything else. Here's the typical modern American diet today. Cheese sauces, baked goods, spaghetti, fried roots. It's all soft. Even what's considered healthy foods, smoothies, yogurt, avocados, oatmeal, it's all soft. Healthy chewing starts in infancy. The chewing and sucking stress required for breastfeeding exercises the masseter and other facial muscles and stimulates more bone growth, allowing for that upper palate to drop, which leads to wider airways. Till a few hundred years ago, mothers would breastfeed infants up to two to four years, sometimes even longer. The more time infants spent chewing and sucking, the more they'd increase their chances of breathing better later on in life. With industrialization came bottle feeding and baby formula. Soon, in many societies, infants were hardly breastfed at all. Now, dozens and dozens of studies in the past two decades have supported this claim. They've shown lower incidence of snoring and sleep apnea in infants who were breastfed longer versus those who were bottle fed. This is why so many of the skulls that I'd examined in the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology that I'd seen at the Paris quarries this is why they had narrow faces and crooked teeth. It's one of the main reasons why so many of us today are chronically stuffed up, why our airways are clogged, why we need sprays and pills and surgery just to get a fresh breath of air.